Hello everyone, Jeff Cannon here. If you live north of Dallas, one of the things you know is that when you're trying to get south of Dallas on I-35, it can sometimes be quite challenging, especially during rush hour and holidays. Let me show you an alternative route that might save you some time. Okay, so this is the typical way you get from north of Dallas to south of Dallas. You're going to come down the tollway here, and then you're going to take this I-35 exit as you get closer to town. But as you can see here, a lot of times it backs up right here. So now let me show you an alternate route you can take to get through this little backed up portion right here. Okay, so now instead of taking that exit to get on 35, what you do is you pass up all that traffic at that exit and you go down straight downtown to Harry Hines Boulevard, which actually turns into Ackard Street down here at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take Woodall Rogers and then you're going to catch this little loop here to get back on 35. So now let's take a look at what that looks like when you're actually driving it in a vehicle. Okay, so I'm getting on the tollway here off of Lemon Street and I'm heading towards downtown. So now I'm on a tollway. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. As I get closer to downtown, here's the Wycliffe uh, Avenue exit. And we're coming up on the, it says exit one mile 35 east south. So we're going to continue downtown. Now usually when you get over this hill coming up, it's going to start backing up. You'll see all the cars. This is coming right up on the exit here. Now on the left is the Harry Hines Boulevard downtown sign. So at this point what you're going to want to do is get in that middle lane because when you're coming up here uh, you can make a decision whether you want to go right to get, take the exit or go downtown on the left. You got to be careful because these cars on the right are probably thinking the same thing so what's going to happen is they're going to jump out of the lane get right in front of you so a lot of times if I'm for sure going to go Harry Hines I'll get all the way over on the left hand side. So here it is, yep, starting to back up. You can see it gets pretty crazy right there. So sometimes you this shortcut is good, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's there's just no good way to get out of town. But this is a typical one when I see this one backing up pretty bad. So I'm going to go downtown, switching lanes here, going to the middle lane. And then I'm going to get over to the right-hand side because I'm going to need to be in that right-hand lane when I get a little further downtown. So continuing on here, speed this up just a little bit. Going downtown. Here's Payne Street. Moody. Now, a lot of times this right hand lane has got uh, cars parked in it, so you got to be careful not to get in that far right hand lane for all these delivery trucks here. So I'm going to continue on downtown. Here's Ashland Street. As we're coming around here, got to be real careful because there's going to be some uh, usually in this area right here there's a bunch of cars parked so what I normally do is I'll stay in this lane until I get to the very end to make that turn So we're going to continue on here now here we are at Woodall Rogers now this is important right here if you're in a larger vehicle an RV or, or a motor coach or a bus one of the things you got to be careful of is there's going to be this pole right here and when you make that turn, you can see that pole's been hit like a thousand times. And there's a reason for that because it's a very sharp turn. So if you're in a larger vehicle, what you want to do is be in this lane or kind of straddle these two lanes right here. And you want to make that turn nice and wide. So here we are. I'm going to let the traffic go through here. I'm going to make that turn. Now sometimes you get up here and this is just a mess. It's all crowded up just like as if you'd have taken the exit earlier. So sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. But more times than not, you win by taking this uh, exit. Now you can see here what you've got coming up is uh, North 35 uh, East and South 35 East. So what you're going to want to do is get over in the uh, second lane there to get around some of this traffic. So I'm pulling up here. Eventually somebody will let you in. But you want to get, uh, it's pretty competitive right here. You're not going to get a whole lot of help right here. But uh, So once you get up here, what you want to try to do is, is get in that third lane. 
because these people are trying to get off and you're trying to get around them. So we're going to try to get in that third lane over here to go around some of this traffic. Speed this up just a little bit. So here we go. So you can see that exit for Waco's right there. And it's coming up. So when you get around this curve, you want to get back in that, that far right lane to take this little roundy round here. Lots of competition people trying to get in here. So now we're going to continue around here. Now coming up here, we're going to have a uh, point where we need to be sure and read the signs here. You've got a lot of people still trying to get in here. As you can see right here, it has a sign that's coming up south 35 to the left. Okay, so we're going to stay to the left. Now, once we get up here, if you stay to the left here, you're going to end up in Fort Worth. So what you want to do is go to the right, it takes the uh, south the 35 exit and the Texarkana. So we take that to the right. And then this always gets real busy right here. There's a little bit of a merging there off of 30. You're going to have uh, to the right, you're going to stay to the right. You're going to have some traffic coming in on you here. So you want to stay to the right. A little bit of a sharp curve here, 35 south. And now what you're meeting up with is that traffic, which you would have been in if you'd have taken the uh, tollway exit there. This is where you're meeting that traffic up. So sometimes this will help out, sometimes it won't, uh, most times it does. Hope this was helpful. If you have any suggestions for any other uh, alternative routes, I'd love to hear them. Just put them down in the comments. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.